Hi, my baby. I love you, too. I love you, too. You're the sweetest thing. Hello. My name is Anne, and this is Toby. Toby is my six-month-old Yorkshire Terrier, and we live in a little village called Merrickville, just outside of Ottawa, with my husband. I do have two boys, but they've flown the coop. And so, now that I'm retired, I am enjoying a crafty life. So if you've been here before, ooh, I'm so happy that you came back. And if you are new to my channel, oh, I called it a channel. Did you get that? If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I talk mostly about knitting in this one. I did do some card stuff before, but um, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so I do sometimes talk about cards, but for the most part, this video is all about knitting and all the yarny loveliness that goes with knitting. Um, so stick around, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, drop me some notes of love below, and you will find below, by the way, I always keep forgetting to tell everybody this, there's a little triangle-y thing or show more or something. You click on that, you'll see all my show notes. So all the things I talk about, if it's possible for me to link you to something, um, then I will. Gosh, my hair looks a bit of a mess. I actually just got it cut today. But you know when you first get your hair cut and it's kind of like still ooey gooey from all the stuff they stick in it? It's kind of like that right now, so I need to wash it and do it my way. But anyway, so you can find me, I'm rabbiting off here, you can find me on Ravelry as Brit Hockey Mum, and you can find me on Instagram as Toby Knits. So pop along there and show me some love there. So today's podcast is a little bit different in that I have no finished objects to show you because I'm still working on some of the things that I was working on before and I have not really, it's only been a week, so I'm not that good. Um, but I do have some lovely finished objects here to show you. Um, and did I tell you about the shawl workshop that I'm going to? It's on the 31st of March and it's in Kempville, the next town over from where I live. And um, it's the, the organizer of the Leeds Grenville Fiber Extravaganza. I don't know if any of you have heard of that. It was fairly new. I think maybe last year was its first year. Anyway, she has put together this workshop. And um, my understanding is the shawl was designed specifically for the workshop. And then is to be worn by the people um, who made it at the Leeds Grenville Fiber Extravaganza, which is, I believe, in September, the end of September sometime. But I do have the organizer coming up later in the show. And she's gonna tell us more about the actual extravaganza and how that works. But anyway, back to the shawl workshop. Um, the designer of the shawl, I had to write this down because I'd forget, is Danielle Verino and I believe it's her first real, um, oh, you have your ball, Toby. Oh, let's see. Do you have your ball? You want to go play? Ready? Sorry. Um, it's, uh, it's called Stripes and Clovers, and she did three variations of it, and so you can knit, we can knit whichever one we want to do, um, but she'd let me borrow them to show you. Ooh. So this is the first one. This is the one I'm going to make. Remember last week I showed you that gorgeous blue? Um, what did I do with it? Oh, wait. Here we go. Yes, I had it right here. So these were the colors I'm going to be using to make um, this out of. And um, this is the shawl. Look at that. So it is 
um, this gorgeous pattern here. Like, oh my goodness, it's, it's just lovely. I can't even show that to you properly. How do I do this? There, maybe like that. I just absolutely love it. And then it's garter stitch and then this pattern again and then garter stitch and the pattern and all the way down. And then around the edge is, um, oh, there, I'm going to try it this way. This really lovely scalloped edge with beads. It's so cool. And this particular yarn is from Log House... Log House Cottage Yarn, and I don't know what, it's a squishy sock, but I don't know what the na name of this one is, if it has a name, but anyway, so this is one of the shawls, just look, isn't that gorgeous, I can't wait to make this, so this is the one that I'm going to make, um, and then the other, so this is obviously the striped, I'm assuming, the striped shawl. And then she has one that is clover. So this is the clover one. And what have you got? Oh, your bone. This guy's bone now. Started out with the ball, now he's got the bone. And this one, do I get the right? Yeah. This one is the little clovers in it. And on the clover, gosh, I hope you can see that, are the beads. Aren't they gorgeous? And it has that same lovely, I just love this little pattern thing here. I love the way it looks. Like it's, it's so cool. So there's this one. And this one does have the scalloped edge, but there's no beads on that one. So there's that one. Ooh, doesn't it look nice? I mean, all the different colors really, I like this color actually. This one really pops. And again, I think this is another log house. Where's the taggy tag on that one? No, she doesn't got a tag on that one. Did it fall off? But I believe this is also a log house yarn. And uh, so I really like that one too. Very nice. And then she did another one, I guess, to show again how it would look with different colors. But this one does not have the edge. So you don't have to put that scalloped edge on if you don't want to. But, and it has smaller beads. I don't know if you can see that, they're very tiny beads. So these are tinier beads. And again, this is a log house, gray and color. <laughs> okay, gray and color. So there is um, and this is again, the squishy sock yarn. 80% super fine merino and 20% nylon. And this is just lovely too. So, and let's see how this looks and how different it looks without, oh yeah, it does definitely look a bit different without the scalloped edge. Oh, I think I like the scalloped. I just really like this shawl. I mean, that's all there is to it. I really like it. Great job, Danielle. This is, I think, her first tr time at designing, which, you know, hey, hats off. I couldn't do it. Um, it's hard enough following a pattern sometimes. But um, I'm uh, so I'm so happy that she's going to show us how to make this, even though she has given us the pattern, which is exclusive to the workshop. I think I said that. And what will happen is she will release the pattern in September at the Fiber Extravaganza. So that's kind of cool. So I don't know if she has a waiting list or nothing, but uh, I will leave her email address below if she doesn't mind me doing that. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll check with her first. 
and uh, it, I can leave that below. So if any of you are interested in getting that patent when it is released in September, then you'll know where to go. So, okay, back to my notes so I can keep myself on track here. Works in progress. Okay, works in progress. So let me start with my outer space, which is in my Pearl Soho bag from New York City. Yeah, that Pearl Soho. I went there with my dad and my husband and my brother, and they very patiently waited in the corner of the room by the door. By the door. So obviously I wasn't there very long. Anyway, this is where I'm at with it. Now, last week I had done four and started the fifth right white wedge and ran out. So then I was lying in bed and trying to go to sleep and I was having a bit of a rough time, as you do sometimes, and I thought, hmm, what if I tink back those two rows of white and then leave off altogether the fifth wedge and start the sleeve and all the rest of the stuff from there. Hmm. Okay, let's try. So I did. So I have tinked back and this, so what I had to do is because after each wedge you had to add, I think maybe eight stitches, eight extra stitches all the way around. So if I finished there, it would be smaller in the waist probably, even though it's a one size. Um, so I thought, okay, so I did the two extras and then I added two more rows like one one with the um, extra stitches to get to where I'm supposed to be after the fifth wedge and then just a regular knit. And now I believe I'm ready to start my um, um, body. I have to take s the sleeves out of, you know, like cast off for them or something, but stick them on slip, slip yarn or Anyway, got to do that. So that's where I'm at with this. So it's coming along lovely. And of course, I would have worked on it on Sunday, but we had a bit of a family merge on Sunday, so I didn't get round to it. Um, then my blanket is coming on really well. That's the 2012 Bernay Mystery Afghan. And that's in my patents bag that I got at the time. And I've, I'm on the last uh, square of these two colors. So I have done already, and I kind of cheated a little bit. So I had to make four of this square. So here's one, two, three, and the fourth one is on the needles. So I've done those, and then you had to do or have to do four of the beige with a, another color. So everybody tried that just to see what it looked like. So here is my other one. So I will have to do four of these. So they are coming along and looking super lovely. It's a really nice, easy knit, especially if you watch in telly. Um, and then my last work in progress is sitting in my bag that I made which I might be kind of making more of and maybe selling on Etsy. You never know. And this is last month's, oh, I have something else to show you too. Last month's knit crate. So I had finished the one sock. So this one's actually finished. So this is maybe, I think they call this a hoe. <laughs> Half object, half finished object. So here is my hoe, and um, this was the Knit Crate yarn. Remember, it was like white and green and pink and purple, and I wasn't sure how it was going to knit up. This is how it knit up. Look. So cool. And I have, didn't want to do the pattern that co it called for it in the box, because I don't really like it. Um, so I did, in our... Thursday group, which tomorrow I shall be attending, is um, 
but you won't know that because it'll have passed then by the time I upload this, um, is we are doing cables. We're learning cables. So this is my cable that I did. And I don't even know if you can see that properly. It kind of swishes this way. So apparently one sock is a left cable and the other sock is a right cable, which anybody that knows me knows I cannot tell the difference between my right and my left. So I'm not really sure how sock number two is going to turn out. <laughs> but anyway, we'll find out. And so I have actually started sock number two. And it is in my DPN case. And yes, I did make this too. And yes, I'm probably going to be making and selling these too. And so that's as far as I've got. I've just cast on my... Um, ribbing and it's just the usual two by two rib so that is it for my um <laughs> i was so pleased with this it's really silly uh so that's it for my works in progress so nothing else going on right now i will be starting that shawl at the end of the month and oh we're now at that part of the video where we are what you got in and I nearly did a video about this yesterday but then I thought no I'll wait this month's knit crate arrived yesterday and I'm just so excited because yes, I've already opened it and peeked. You haven't seen it. Oh, it's green. And you know what? You know what? Not only is it green, it's sparkly. Look at that. Look at those sparkles. Oh my goodness. Sparkly yumminess. So it is a Vidalana, which is their brand at Knit Crate, which is, oh, it's called Vidalana Shima, colorway is Tangles, and it's 70% blah, 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 70 Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, 10% Stellina. 10%? No. Yeah. Not doing very well. See, it's numbers. I kind of, you know, me and numbers don't go well at all. Um, so yeah, so because it's, uh, hand wash only, try flat. Mm. So the pattern for that, and I actually am loving the look of the pattern. The pattern is called Triometry. Can you see that all that well? I hope so. And apparently it has little evergreen trees or something in it. I find it hard to see them there, but I'm sure once we start working our way up, we'll see them. But pine trees are evergreen. Their branches are symmetrical and provide a sense of order and peace. Toby, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you little devil. What are you doing? Your bone's in there. Get your bone. There it is. If you didn't know, he's actually quite funny. I've never known a dog do this. He will literally come at to me. He's actually throwing the bone. I don't know if you can see him. He's in the corner. Where is he? No, I can't even turn it around. He throws the bone and then expects you to throw it back to him funny that way, eh? I don't know any dogs that do that. Um, so yeah, that's a really nice sock. I'm looking forward to that, to doing that. And, oh. Um, it, I like this little book. It tells you all kinds of uh, things. The um, It's all whisper or something is what the theme and inspiration is for this month. Anyway, so that's my little crate. So I should be casting these on.
probably soon too. So, but I gotta finish some off before I can cast. I gotta finish those off before I cast them on. And then I gotta work on the shawl. And oh, there's just so much to do. So much to do. And so much fun. Okay, back to my notes. So I will be having an interview with Brenda, uh, who will tell us about fiber extravaganza. And that will be coming up next. And so yeah, let's go talk to Brenda. Okay, so I'm back and this is not Toby. No, <laughs> this is Brenda Ward, who is the co-founder, founder, founder, founder of the Leeds Grenville Fiber Extravaganza. Hello. So Brenda, just get my tea first, you know, because yes. us busy people need tea. Absolutely. Um, chai latte, if you're interested. I am a orange pico girl. Yes, Tatley. Anyway, so tell me what the Leeds Granville Fiber Extravaganza is. The Leeds Granville Fiber Extravaganza is an event that I founded and started last year, so it's only a year old. Mm -hmm. And I did it basically because I thought Kempful needed something mm -hmm. um, to have. And also, too, I came across so many local indie dyers, knitters, that they needed to have that exposure. Yeah. So just so that you know, year like in back in 2012, mm -hmm. Brenda and I and a couple of ladies from work, because Brenda and I used to work together, uh, set up um, a knitting uh, group on a Tuesday night at the That's library. Right. And... Um, I don't go so much anymore because I moved, but Brenda still goes, and um, we'll let you come. Yeah, yeah, they, they <laughs> let me come visitor. occasionally. Yeah, yeah, I get a free pass. But um, yeah, so it was a nice. She's been knitting for years, so it was a nice movement into doing something that she could also give back to the community. And we also thought we. There's so many of them out there. We thought, well, it would be kind of nice to have something local. Yeah. And that's where I got into having local vendors. Yeah. Because there's like nothing in Ottawa. No. And we're the... Where's the nearest thing? Toronto, maybe? Toronto. Yeah. There's nothing in eastern Ontario to yeah. the Quebec border. No. no. So that's why we yeah. have it here. First year was phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, awesome. I have a great committee. Yeah. Um, and it was phenomenal. Yeah. How many do you have on the committee? There's five of us. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, but I must confess, Anne, I haven't been knitting for years. Oh, um, I no. Well, I've knit off and on. I've done a variety of things, but I really like organizing this and seeing women, especially women, because most of them are women. Yeah. Uh, be successful. Yeah. And if I can help them be successful, that's my gratitude. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. So tell me, how does the shawl workshop fit into the fiber extravaganza? Okay. So last year we had a shawl designed specifically for the extravaganza mm -hmm. and it was Canadian and it's a lady from out in Calgary, Rye Knit Flowers, and you can get the shawl pattern. It's called Land of Lakes off a of Ravelry from her. Um, so I'll my, put all the links to that below. Oh, that'd be perfect. Yeah. My goal was to have something different uh, for the, for the show for the extravaganza so we I decided that I was going to have a shawl for each year nice so this what a year good idea I think it's fun yeah so this year uh Danielle Veriano who knits with us yes yeah, totally I botched her name up before totally <laughs> it's Italian it it's hard <laughs> uh, she designed the shawl and uh she has designed three styles um a beginner an intermediate and an advanced so it is exclusive to the extravaganza. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can get it through our website and uh, email address, which Anne will put up later yep. for you. Yep. And so I just, for her first time designing, and I wanted to promote her. She's a fabulous knitter, and I just want to see her succeed. Yeah, that's so awesome. So that's where that came from. And then next year, there will be another shawl. No. Oh, so there will be a next year then. There will be a next Ooh, year. Oh, um, nice. Because this is the second year, This is right? the second year. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So there is a next year. So it's to help promote designers. Yes. 
So it'll be a different designer. Well, we may have a different designer. Yeah. Uh, we may not. Oh. Okay. Um, it's hard to say. It all depends what happens. Yeah. Um, what with well, what I'll do with it. But mm. I just thought it'd be nice to have a different shawl. Yes. For every year. That would be really. The Land nice. of Lakes is the first one, and this one is Sticks and Clover. So stripes and clover. Stripes and clover. Yeah. Sorry, stripes and clover, and uh, the yarns from Log House. Um, cottage yarns, which is in North Gore, yeah. oh, which is nice. What, fifteen minutes from Kempo. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Shelley's been just awesome with that, and she will have some things at the some kits at the show as well. Good, good. So they, what I did was for the retreat, we decided that to help promote the shawl, we opened up the retreat to a workshop where you'll have Danielle there as the instructor and the designer to help you, yes, with knitting your shawl. Right, right, right. So the retreat is different from the workshop, is different from the fiber extravaganza? Okay, so I used too many words in there. I also do a retreat in January. Okay. Okay, so I was taking retreat, and what happened was the workshop came out of the retreat. Got it, got it. So it's a workshop. Yes, this is okay. just a workshop. This for is just a workshop. Four or five hours or something? Four, um, ten to, what is it, ten to ten two? two? Yeah. Ten yeah. to two, and you get lunch. Oh, I'm there. <laughs> I'm there. You get lunch. I yeah. didn't be there. I'd be there. Uh, you get lunch, and uh, you have the, um, the exclusivity of having Danielle there, yes. the designer. Nice. He needs help. Yeah, yeah. Now you are full for the workshop, right? Or we are full have... for the okay. workshop. Okay. But there is also a possibility of having a second workshop. Nice. So, so again. I... Contact Brenda yep. at the, what's the email address? It's uh, L Leeds Grenville Fiber Extravaganza. So it's LGFE2018 at gmail.com. Okay, but I'll put that downstairs. Yeah, if you put that downstairs. on there. Where are we going next? I don't want to go downstairs. <laughs> you know, that's good. I don't want to go downstairs either. Um, so if you send it to that, yeah. then we will see how many are interested and what are your plans uh in the future for the fiber extravaganza like if you keep getting bigger do you have plans to move it from the location because where is it usually held it's at the north grenville municipal center okay um in kempville in kempville which is off of county road 44 actually if you follow the opp signs it's just before the opp station that's what i tell everybody it's nice. easiest for directions which is how far out of ottawa uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes out of Ottawa. And we're 30 minutes from the uh, U.S. border. Nice. So it's sort of central. Yeah. Which is really nice. As far as moving it, unfortunately, I'm very fussy. Yeah. Very, very fussy. Um, I haven't found a place yet. And right now, it's only in its second year. Yeah. So it's still in its infancy. Yeah. So right now we're just going to stay where we are and work with what we have and we'll figure that out. Sounds good. After. Sounds good. Well, I'm excited. So I will be at the workshop uh, next week and I'm... Are you going to do a podcast? I at just the... might. Ooh. <laughs> at least some footage anyway. Yeah, that'd, so be that'd be great. Be, yeah, that'll be really cool. And uh, well, thank you for coming, oh, Brenda. You're and having some time with us. And thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. And all the links will be down below. And if you have any questions about the fiber extravaganza, just contact Brenda. And uh, anyway, talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and found it lots of fun. Brenda was a great fun, wasn't she? And lots to learn about her Leeds Grenville fiber extravaganza. Anyway, I'm going to go. It was great talking to you and please give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and drop me some notes of kindness below and uh, I'll see you again soon.